guys, this is Inside the NFL Today. My name is Damon. We're doing 32 teams. Today we're doing the Cleveland Browns. So to start off with Brandon Whedon, one of their first round picks last year. He didn't impress a whole lot. He had 17 interceptions and not as many touchdowns. And he didn't really do as well as he was supposed to. He's 28 years old and he was at Oklahoma State. And he was supposed to be a guy who could come in and make an immediate impact at quarterback. He didn't do that. He didn't get enough passing yards. He didn't get enough touchdowns for the team. Now, the other guy on offense that they got in the draft, Trent Richardson, uh, his yards per carry was about 3.56, and that may be a little deceiving because he had an injury at, towards the beginning of the season, a knee injury, and an ankle injury towards the end of the season. So while in 2012 he didn't do a fantastic job for being one of the top five picks, he actually did a pretty good job with those two injuries. I'll, we'll probably look for him to rebound next year and have a lot more yards and be able to be in a lot more highlights and yards per carry for the next year. Now, uh, Josh Gordon, who they got in the supplementary draft, he actually did a pretty good job at wide receiver for what pick they used on him. If you guys don't know, uh, in the supplementary draft, it's guys who have maybe had problems and couldn't enter the draft because of issues, legal issues, or uh, like DUIs or anything like that, uh, that couldn't enter the draft because of the, they were in legal trouble. He, um, so they enter the supplementary draft and then teams sacrifice picks for them. So like an example is, um, they, the Cleveland Browns, they used a, th I'm pretty sure, a third round pick that last year on him in the supplementary draft, which means this year they will not be getting a third round pick. He played pretty well for his pick. Um, he did a great job. He can catch a lot of balls. He can, he caught a lot of deep ones for Brandon Wheaton and he was really the highlight of that offense. So he was an improvement and one of their few things that really went right on offense in 2012. Um, as far as the O-line goes, they did an okay job holding up. Uh, they only had 36 sacks and other teams that had 50 sacks, that's a lot. Um, but since they only had 36 sacks, that's not too bad. Now, as far as defense goes, they had 17 interceptions, but they had a 63% uh, completion percentage of opponent quarterbacks which means even though they got a lot of interceptions, they kind of played probably a risk or reward defense where they attacked balls more often than they should have. This allowed more of a completion percentage and allowed a lot of yards on passing uh, defense. As far as rushing attack goes, they only had 4.2 yards per carry allowed. Um, so, I mean, that's not too bad, but it's not too great either. They probably need to try to get that number down, but 4.2 isn't too bad. Now... As far as corners goes, uh, that's where I think their biggest need is on defense. Um, their cornerback, Joe Hayden, was hurt a little bit throughout the season, and he did pretty well. But uh, they're going to need another shutdown guy besides him. So they're going to look to address that in free agency and through the draft. In free agency, they have $47 million to spend, which is a huge amount. They're ranking up with like the top three teams, the Colts and like one other team, who have a lot of money to spend. So in free agency, we're going to look for them to try to help that defense and try to help the offense too. It looks like the team is going to stick with Brandon Weed in next season, and there's no need for them to get another running back with Trent Richardson because I think he'll improve a lot. So none of the, neither of those positions will be touched because Brandon Weed will give him another year to try to see if he can do better. Now, uh, the, what they really might try to go to is wide receiver. They need a guy outside of Josh Gordon who can really do well. Uh, Greg Little did okay. He improved this year, but he's not what he was supposed to be when they drafted him in the first round a few years ago. So uh, they're probably going to look to get a guy like Greg Jennings or Mike Wallace, who costs a lot of money, but that doesn't really matter for them because they have $47 million to spend. Now, um, as, as far as defense goes, I'm going to look for them to get a guy like Cliff Averill, a defensive end out of Detroit. He had 9.5 sacks last season, and Detroit's probably not going to pay him the money he wants. But the Browns really need him, so they could pay him the money he wants, which is a lot of money. And Cliff Averill could help that defense get a lot more sacks and uh, get a lot more pressure on opposing quarterbacks, giving their cornerbacks uh, less time helping their cornerbacks defend the pass more, and he could help their uh, rushing attack too, get help with their rushing attack and take those carries down a little bit because he's actually a pretty good guy. Um, now in the NFL draft, I already know pretty much definitely if he slips to them, I'm going to want them to draft D. Miller. Milner, my bad. Um, D. Milner is a quick guy who's a shutdown corner. He's got the size. He's got a lot of the keys. 
He's he's probably the top corner in the draft, and I th- really think he would fit with them well. He's like 6'1", 198 pounds reported at last, um, and he's got that size. So he, he can go up to with other uh, top receivers in the NFL, and he can really defend those guys well. But um, I'm going to look for them to spend that pick on him because they really need that shutdown corner. If they can get him as their shutdown corner, if he drops to them and get that shutdown corner, and they can get Cliff Averill and either Mike Wallace or Greg Jennings in the free agency, I think this team can improve a lot in 2013. In 2013, um, I'm actually looking for them to go at probably around 8-8 eight and eight if those things happen. They could be as much as 10-6 and six if those things happen. I really, really would like them to see, see them get Cliff Averill and either Mike Wallace or Greg Jennings because that'll help both offense and defense. And then getting uh, D. Milner would make that defense probably almost elite again. I think that defense has a good chance to be one of the best in the NFL next year if they do those two things and uh, get maybe a few other guys out of free agency to help the defense. And then on offense, hopefully Trent Richardson can perform better once now that he's coming back and he'll be injury-free. Hopefully he doesn't become injury prone. Hopefully he can stay healthy and he can get upwards of 4.0 yards per carry next season coming out of his rookie season. So um, the three things uh, you guys should take out of the Cleveland Browns this offseason is they got a lot of money to spend in free agency. They should get one or two or three guys on defense and try to get a wide receiver like Greg Jennings or Mike Wallace. The second thing is they should try to draft Dean Milner because he's a great guy for them. He would be another shutdown corner and help that pass defense a lot. And the third thing is we're going to look to see how Brandon Whedon improves. If Brandon Whedon can improve and Trent Richardson can do uh, better after he's coming back from injuries, this team could be a really good team in 2013. So I'm going to look for them to go anywhere from 6-10 and 10 to 10-6, 10 and 6, depending on how well they perform with their free agency moves and who they get in the draft. But uh, I think this team has a lot of potential for next season, 2013 season. So thanks for watching, guys. If you liked the video, please rate, comment, and subscribe.